Howdy. This is how my recent video started. Some four hours ago I made a video. Howdy. There is... Yes, howdy. There is. There is a quake. <laughs> and it is an unconfirmed one. One of those I've mentioned. Unconfirmed. The Renania of the Nord of Westphalia. And if we zoom in, we are near Euskirchen, Germany. And it's unconfirmed. And just two minutes ago or something, I checked again about the earthquake activity in Europe. And look what I found. This thing here. It is yellow, which means it's deeper than the red ones. The other one, when I made a video four hours ago, it was six hours old, which means in total 10 hours. And that's 12 hours old. So this has happened before the other one. Unconfirmed 3.8, once again, the same magnitude, but this time 50 kilometers in depth. Eight user reports. Let's check them out quickly. Basically, what I find very interesting is not only the fact that it is an unconfirmed quake, once again 3.8 in magnitude, but also it has happened, obviously, according to the time earlier than the other one. And it hasn't been on the map earlier. Not felt, not felt. Vibration. Some vibration. More info. Is there any info about that? I don't think so. Seismic like event or whatsoever. Events that uncertain, preliminary, unconfirmed earthquake or seismic like event. Do you Unknown 3.8. <laughs> 50 kilometers in depth. How can they tell that it's 50 kilometers in depth at the same time not knowing the magnitude? Mm, what? Nearest volcano Lachersee. Mm -hmm. So. Actually, we have to go back again and take the coordinates. Yeah, maybe this is boring to watch, but I just really want to show you that this is no magic. Copy, link, text, and then we go to Google Maps. Paste it, and then we take one space and this line out, and we go. I want to just show you that these marks, all those blue which are here, these are all volcanoes I found on Wikipedia and I just marked them here. <laughs> there are a few of them. But obviously, right in the vicinity of this, we don't have any. Is this the same place we have been earlier? This might be the exact same place we have been earlier, so we have to check this out. Something doesn't match up. Let's go back and get the coordinates, maybe we pasted some old ones. Now I made it again, now let's see what's happening. Yeah, it's the same place. What? We have to go to check out quickly the video. Uh, that's from my video earlier. So it really seems... I'd prove to you that that's the video. This is the quake. Yeah, that's the quake location from the earlier quake, which was unconfirmed. So 
back to the real Google Maps, which is here. It's the exact same location, so we are talking about the same quake. It got downgraded, literally. Not by magnitude, but by depth. Now it's 50 kilometers deep, which is very interesting. Yeah. And here it says Eiffel. Königswinter, Bonn, the old capital of Germany. Let's click on just Ruderberg. That's a cryptodome, hence a volcano, according to Wikipedia. Here in the front we can see the River Rhine and we have rocks. Castles and ruins, check it out. And there's another one on the left side. And it's mainly flat, you know, there's just like some hills and there's like huge flat regions. What do you think? What's the reason for them being flat? These are all this kind of flooding regions. And here we have the mountain range. And I wouldn't be surprised if every one of those hilltops would be a cryptodome. I was just going to say, do we have any pictures with clouds? Here are clouds, but we don't see any hills. This doesn't help too much. Yeah, actually, I could show you some cloud pictures from today. What is going on here? Is this a bulge in the earth? It's bulging outwards. It's growing because there's something inside the mountain. <laughs> Check it out, that's the river Rhine. Very beautiful in fall and we have the hills in the background. Yeah, is that rock? Rather interesting looking formation. Nice clouds. Here are no clouds visible. Wow, look at that. Cryptodomes, that's the same, that's Roderberg. I think this one uh, and that's also very interesting and there's another huge complex there on this hill and I bet also the people living in these kind of places need water so if you live on top of a hill you need water or you just have to pay many people to get the water from down there which I don't think anybody does you need your own water Yeah, that's spectacular. Very beautiful and very spectacular. Let's check out these videos there. Dog running around or something. Birds all over the place. <laughs> hey, dude. Yeah, let me show you some cloud pictures because we have now seen the pictures from Ruderberg, which is a cryptodome. Vulcano, here it says, check it out. Vulcano. So anyway, let's have a quick look at some clouds from today. But actually we start off with this, and that's not the best picture. It was a little bit hard to capture, but that's the moon and that's a halo around the moon and it looked really spectacular. This picture doesn't really give any credit to how it looked.
It was very interesting to watch that. I didn't manage. And now, today, there's this kind of pillar here, and we can see this red round formation and those filamentary filaments going out of there or away. And this was interesting. Somehow it seemed, and what is not really visible, that this part of the cloud was very white. Much wider than it looks here in the picture. Then we had also these. These were very nice looking. Something like this was even in the news today. And maybe these are even the same clouds, because... <laughs> I was watching into the direction from where the other pictures were taken. So it's totally possible that I captured the same clouds just from a different angle and maybe slightly a different time. But I don't care too much about that fact. Are they the same or not? Now let's go with this. Yeah, they were very interesting to watch. I didn't really have time to check out the weather and stuff because I'm busy writing and reading and about like <laughs> Seolithic water. You know, ever heard about that? Very interesting. But that's the same once again from another angle. This cloud structure here. And a little bit to the left, it looked like this. This might be some hours later. Yeah, that's some hours later because I noticed these. <laughs> Not very often that we have these kind of lenticular clouds, or however you want to call them. And I thought that's very interesting. You know, beautiful. Very beautiful. And then I noticed yeah, not only the rabbit came by, that's a rabbit, but fortunately it didn't aid from this. The other ones had to be protected, otherwise the bad rabbit would take it, eat it. Anyway, rabbits everywhere. And that's the same location. This with this pillar and this crown of clouds at the top of it. A few hours later, it looked like that. There's just a whole no pillar anymore and no clouds where the pillar has been. <laughs> yeah, I just thought that's very interesting. I don't know if you think the same. I think it's interesting. You can think about that whatever you want to. That's the same location. And later it looked like that. There's just a hole left in the sky. And it has still, in a way, a crown around it. There seems to be a little bit darker clouds there in the vicinity of the, of the hole in the sky. But anyway, these are probably the best clouds I captured today. They are very neat. Thanks. Bye.